hi everyone um welcome to my channel once again uh my name is Bowale, and in this video i'm going to walk you through how you can easily um inspect all the traffic um in your network with the FortiGate you just deployed in your lab uh that means that you want every traffic um uh, in your network uh to pass through the FortiGate you just installed in your lab if you don't know or if you haven't done that you can just check um the other video i made so uh, about installing FortiGate um easily for free and all that so um you've installed FortiGate on your on your um on your windows um machine which is the vm and you want all the traffic in your network to pass through the FortiGate so that you can inspect those traffic and see how traffic are going um yeah let's go so um I have here with me my um uh, windows um uh, machine in which i've installed FortiGate um on it uh, vm on it and is uh, up and running then i have my home router um this home router works both uh for for wireless users and um, LAN users this is where all my users um, connect to um wirelessly so um, for us to achieve uh, this inspection of traffic we have to ensure that the windows uh, machine that um, we install the FortiGate on is connected on the LAN to the um, to the router to your home router can you see you have to connect it to your home router then um, let's go ahead and um, start the configuration so um, let's log into our FortiGate uh, and uh, it would set off from there. So we have our FortiGate um, set up, and um, the FortiGate is installed on on um, the VM uh, in a bridge mode. Uh, the interface one is in bridge mode, and we don't have any other interface um, set up. So the idea is that uh, anybody that connects um, to our wireless network. Um, FortiGate is going to inspect the traffic. So all the traffic from our wireless network will pass through um, the FortiGate. Um, so one of the things we want to set up first is to um, is to set up our policy. Um, come to policy. So uh, this sync time, I think we have to um, work about it. Uh, let's do DNS uh, settings. Then NTP, let's set uh, time. Uh, where's West Africa? No, West Africa. Okay, West Africa. Then apply. Okay. Um, this will be corrected as soon as we. Uh, setting up so um let's go to firewall policy um before that firewall policy let's go to network interface so on network interface we have port one connected this is my lan ip address and i assigned 99 to um 40 gates so um let's click this then we have it on as lan the room should be set to lan and um, we have to set this uh, as DSP server. So we want that anybody connecting to um, the wireless network, that uh, FortiGate should be the one to assign DSP to them. And it's going to give uh, them the IP address as his, uh, his own IP address as their gateway. So what else are we setting? Set OK. Then OK. So after this, we go to um, security, no, um, our policy, then we create new. Uh, so let's so learn to internet. Uh, incoming port one, outgoing port one, source, let's leave it as all, um, destination, all, S um, services, all um we we'll leave it as flow based um 
So we enable NATIN as well and use Adgoin interface address. Um, later, we can apply all these security profiles, but the first one we want to achieve is that all the traffic pass through FortiGate and we can see their traffic in our logs. Then click OK. So this log, we want to turn it to um, all, all sessions, not just UTM, not just UTM, rather. Then after that, we want to set up our policy ID, uh, policy route, rather, create. Then the incoming interface will be port one and the uh, leave everything else. Then go to outgoing interface, then select port one. Then put the gateway IP address as 192.168.100.1. So this is the IP address of your uh, home, home router. Uh, which will serve as a gateway uh, for um, the 40 gate. Then after that, what else are we doing? I think that's also what you want to do now is to log in um, to your home router and disable the DNS, uh, the DSCP server so that anybody connecting now will only get DSCP address from your 40 gate and all that. So um, I log into my home router then password uh, login. Um, go to the LAN and the DSCP server setting. Then disable um, disable uh, the DSCP um, server and apply. So once this is done, uh, so this is done and it has been achieved. And so the next thing you want to do is restart. Um, your home router. Why are you starting your home router? You are starting your home router because you want um, you want um, a situation whereby the people that are already um, connected to the um, home router wirelessly can get DCP from um, from the forty gate. Um, if you leave it on, it won't work that way because they need to lose connection first. Then we connect and now get. A, a fresh DSCP IP address from the 40 gates. So I'm going to do that just now and um, and we we'll start my home router. <coughs> um, so we have uh, we started the home router. Now let's log into. Let's log into our 40 gates um, units. So you can see this uh, sync time has, um, has been resolved because now 40 gates have access to, to the internet. And um, let's check our traffic on the firewall policy. You can see that the firewall policy will say we have 25, uh, 22 megabytes um, at the moment, um, traffic at the moment. Let's check our policy route, it count. Um, so we'll see that this is working. Then let's go to log and reports. Yeah, we see these. Uh, And see um, IP addresses of users connecting to our um, to our router. So, well, before we go, let's check DCP um, DCP counts. Uh, so, uh, go to okay. Add monitor. Uh, DCP add then add monitor then let's check currently have three users connecting to our um, our network you can actually now inspect their traffic where they are going to what they are doing at the moment. 
So, so we have this and see. Um, let me try and see if I can. Okay, so one of the things I also want to do is set up um, security profile because without that, I might not be able to inspect and um, see most of this traffic that users are, um, where they are going to and all that. So I'll set up um, the web filter and the application control filter. So one of the things I want to do is just set them, set them to monitor because uh, I don't have a license yet to utilize um, the web profile. So just set everything to monitor. Um, yeah, you can just set everything to monitor or just leave it as default so that you can easily um, see users traffic based on um, their uh, source or destination or website. So go back to dashboard and go back to um, maybe websites. So um, you can just leave it for a while and let's for the gates um, gather data for you. But at the moment, so we can go back to dashboard and see users and devices. You can see we have um, six um, devices at the moment uh, connecting uh, at the moment. So all this traffic are passing through FortiGate and FortiGate is their gateway and I can easily eliminate anybody that I want to eliminate on my network. I can block, I can allow, I can permit, I can um, anything I want to do. Now, and don't forget that we have a free uh, evaluation license that we are using, and that's why we can do what we are doing at the moment. So let's go to... So I'm still trying to inspect traffic. Um, let's let's go to, let's go back to dashboard websites. Okay, let's go to applications. Okay, so now I have applications. So you can only get this um, result when you turn on application um, profile on that policy. Without that, you can't be able to gather all these applications that you're seeing at the moment. Then let's go to destination. Let's go to destination. I can see where these users are going to. Uh, Let's view source again. Okay. Then what else? Website is not coming up yet. Status. So that's just the way you can set up and inspect traffic so with your policy you can easily um restrict users by setting the source ip address uh for them like if you want um if, if you want to restrict access to maybe users in your lot you can limit the number of people that you want access you no know, you can just practice and um, do anything you want to do you can also do traffic shipping so some of the things you have access to uh, traffic shipping, uh, VPN, um, SD1, SD1. You have access to um, to to also um, play with SD1 and all that. There are some other features as well. You can use the uh, monitoring tool also to um, to um, demonstrate how um, how FortiGate is working. So you can view sessions of each um, device or uh, of each uh, yeah if each, each device or users in your network um this is not working yet because it needs some time to gather uh, information so i think that's